Okay, I've never gone through the Arduino code, so I'm going to do that now. Up the, this is for the rate controller, but I mean they all work the same. You have your defines and the loop time variables. Um, loop time is 100 milliseconds, and you wait until 100 milliseconds passes by before you trigger the next frame. Uh, the DT is the amount of time that has elapsed. Um, you have your ground speeds and all the basic variables. And I have a volatile unsigned long as my pulse counter. You want to use volatile because it doesn't store it in computer registers. It stores it directly in memory so there is no delay. Uh, yeah, just the basic PID variables. Set up your pins. Set up the communication to AgOpen GPS. Attach the interrupt using pulse counter. That volatile integer or long and a change on the encoder. Now this is the loop every loop time which was 100 milliseconds counts sits and counts the time until it hits 100 milliseconds and then it does the loop. If it doesn't if it isn't 100 milliseconds timed up then the rest of this runs all the time. And what this does is it just scans for serial coming into it from AgOpen GPS who can send data and it can send settings. And the way to determine that is if the first two bytes are 32,762 then we know it's data. If it's 32,760 then it's settings and that's exactly the way CAN bus works. CAN bus is the PGN is it sets up a, a number and then eight bits of data. And we could go to that system but really only need four. So this is pretty simple. So if we if a 32762 comes as a header, we know that this is data. And we know it's the relay byte and a ground speed divided by four. And then our liters per minute is sent at a hundred times its rate. So our rate set point we take and move the first the high byte over eight bits and add it to the lower eight bits and voila, we have our integer again. And now we need to adjust it from liters per minute to times 100 to ticks per frame. So we take and divide it um, by 60 to go from a minute to a liters per second. And then we multiply our flow rate or our cal factor times 100, or sorry, times 0 0.01 divided by 100 to get rid of this 100. So now we're in liters, sorry, ticks per second and then we divide it by how long our frame time is. In this case it's uh, 10 frames per second or like 100 milliseconds so we multiply by 0.1 we get our ticks per frame. Data is pretty simple. If we send 32,700 then reset the accumulated counts or uh, we just can also at the same time we send the flow meter cal factor. So that's all the settings does in this. And the interrupt service routine it just Every time it triggers, it counts up the pulses. Now, our rate again is ticks per frame. So now it doesn't matter whether it's fertilizer or spray or whatever it is, it's just a motor speed. And so it can be pulse width modulated sprayer or it can be a flow control sprayer. It doesn't matter because it's in the digital realm now. And so our rate error then is what we have set versus how many uh, pulses per frame have we counted? If this is set to 20 and this is set to 21, it's going too fast, so we slow it down. If this is 19 and 20, then we speed it up. And that's what PID does, is it tries to minimize this error. We set the rel uh, relays, calculate the PID, send out the motor drive to drive this error to zero. And now we go backwards. We take our, our current rate, how many ticks, and multiply it by 10 now, because we're going backwards, per minute times 100 divided by our cal factor. So again, that's our ticks per how many counts per liter is our is our cal factor. So we're just dividing the ticks now by our cal factor gets us back to liters. Simple, simple. And then we just send off the, the serial data. And then it just spins round and round again. And that's it. It's pretty simple. What we technically could do is just send the Arduino how many ticks per second and then you wouldn't even have to do any of this. You could just do all this in Egg Open GPS. I'm not sure which way is better to have more flexibility in here or more to go wrong, depending on which way you look at it. But uh, right now it just sends it liters per minute 
and then it just sends back what the accumulated counts are because it just keeps adding and adding and adding um, what the accumulated counts are and then divides that by the flow meter cal factor every time so you're not taking every frame and adding frames together to uh, come up with accumulated counts you just count the counts and divide that by the flow meter cal and that's much more accurate than calculating errors along the way this is just strictly counts over cal factor and that's it